Hi everyone! Well, feeding video isn't quite over yet because I got some new additions over here and I have a molt that I'd like to share with you. So I guess this is a bonus feature, part 3 of the feeding video. One of my longest yet. So in part 2 I feature one of my Brachypalma obopolosum curly hairs. I did feature Aragog but not Curly Sue, the second. Now the reason why I didn't feed Sue because she wasn't really interested in eating and later this morning I found out that she molted. Now unfortunately it the molt isn't like my bee wagons like I can't really open up the admin area because it's too mangled but this is a confirmed female. I believe I do have some older videos where I actually um, sexed her by molt but I wanted to show you what curly hairs look like when they freshly molt. They're drop dead gorgeous she is probably around like three and a half inches right now she's probably gonna double her size like around six inches not 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 seven that splitting image of curly sue my old female that passed away she looked at 28 years old and she was an adult when i got her in back in 1996 yeah, I miss her, but at least I'll have a uh, nice little time with this girl here. Alrighty, so the new additions. Alright, so this one isn't mine. This is Angelo's um, Mature Male Haplopus Species Columbia, which is the pumpkin patch. Now, this is a small form, and I don't know if, yeah, you can see it right here. I'm just going to put it on macro you can see those little tiny hooks anyways I'll give a small cricket to this guy right here and see what happens usually with Columbia's they're pretty hungry if not then that's typical case of mature males they really don't eat as much their main focus is to uh, find females. So, oh well. That sucks. But, all right, this is a new addition, second one. This one here is a baby emperor scorpion. Pandinus imperator. This guy is a little feisty. And it's pretty cool that I got this scorpion um, because it is one of the largest uh, scorpions that you can get in the hobby. Seven inches is pretty common for this species here. And they're a lot less venomous than the Europlecta species and the Deathstalkers. If you guys notice that his pedipalps, which serve as their claws as you can see they're pretty large and pretty thick built and they rely more on their pedipalps to grab their prey than their stinger and pretty much that's how they eat just like the centipede they have mandibles which they chew but I like this one Alright, so this is a very new tea that I just recently added to my collection. It's a specimen that I had before as a sling but not as a 3 inch female. This is a Sparabofria Hoffmani, which is called the South American Horned Bird Eater. Not a very defensive tea at all. It does like to kick hairs a little bit, but it's really odd to see a South American species have a horn on its head. Most horns that you would find are typically the Ceratogyrus, which are the horned baboons, but this one is a rare exception and pretty cool addition to my collection. I'm not sure what I'm going to name 
uh, this spider. Um, probably since I'm um, getting into the Fatal Frame uh, franchise, uh, I might call this one Sae. Is she hungry? No? I don't think she's going to eat, but anyways, I thought I should just show off the new additions as well as uh, show you uh, Curly Sue's molt. Yeah, no, not completely interested. Alright, so I realized I made a little boo-boo in part one of the feeding video. I introduced Ada, which was my female um, Brachypelma erratum, and I realized that when I was watching the video, I introduced her, but I cut off the uh, part where she was feeding. So, I uh, will look into my video archive on my camera. I think I still have that video, and if I do have it, I will feature it. So, anyways guys, I hope you enjoyed the feeding video. I certainly enjoyed making it, and it was pretty cool that I decided to, you know, take it up a notch and include some music and part of me singing. <laughs> anyway, so it's a little bit embarrassing, but uh, it's, it's cool nonetheless. So, hope you enjoyed the video guys, thanks for watching, and stay tuned for more vids. And to any Resident Evil 2 fans out there, this is my female Brachypelma erratum, the Mexican flame knee, her name is Ada. Let's see if Ada can use her magic on the superworm. Oh! A hop, a skip, and away! <laughs> there she goes. Yeah, she's awesome. Really growing nice. I got this tarantula from Bruce, arachnophiliacs.com, and great buy.